good day everyone my name is Rusfan and uh, welcome to my youtube channel so i hope you guys are good i hope everything is fine on your side and uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me i hope guys you are enjoying my videos so check this out this is uh, the part four of our gas station design and uh, until now we have uh, done look at this beautiful entrance so we have done this design right here we have done the parametric fence and we have done the parametric um the the holder wall design right today is part four you know uh, if you go to google and if you just write composite brick wall design so there are so many hundreds and hundreds of different designs that pop out uh, that usually you know construction uh, i mean the contractors do with bricks all right look at this one how beautiful it looks but there are so many different types all right so we are going to be making something similar like that today inside revit so first of all let's quickly get started as bef as before i want to make um you know let's make our videos quick and short so the first thing is always the units uh, let's change this to millimeters 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 to decimal places okay and uh, okay so we are going to be using a curtain panel based and uh, i think i think the size of this uh, 400 by 400 looks fine and uh, okay so we are going to be making a composite wall design inside revit today so point and uh, set and uh, set it to this uh, this surface uh, paste it once you paste it uh, give it an offset of uh, 200 and once that is selected uh, get to this direction co and uh, 200 okay and uh, now um, that is selected now go to this point so co and uh, paste okay pasted and uh, now i'm um, select four of them so co and uh, pasted all right guys uh, we have in a way pasted eight different points right <laughs> now as far as uh, i mean now we have to connect all of these points okay let's first connect them so turn on 3d sapping and it's a simple line nothing special um this is in fact two basics so one and uh, two and uh, one no we have let that gone and uh two okay i said basic and i did a mistake in that <laughs> how ironic okay so now um, connect both of them and uh, change it into a reference line and uh, <coughs> excuse me the same for this one so one and uh, two guys why am i coughing it's been about one month now and uh okay and uh finally yes all right and now we need uh four different offsets all right so the first uh, the first offset i mean four different types of offset because we want to make <laughs> our bricks as parametric as possible uh so the first one is going to be um a1 okay uh fine and uh, let's make the second one um uh new to a2 okay nothing special and uh, in this case this is going to be um the b1 okay and okay and uh, this one is going to be the new and uh, b2 all right okay so a1 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 a2 b1 b2 and uh, let's go uh, to our formulas a little bit and you know in fact let's let's make our shape okay so make the shape and now um go to the formulas and uh, you know we want a1 to be equal to um, a2 and we want um, b2 to be equal to b1 and uh, now this can be 200 and if this is 20 apply and check this out guys <laughs> so half of our <coughs> excuse me half of our break is already complete uh so i mean the overall um, i mean the design is easy right it's nothing special now uh, for example the materials we can even change this to materials so m-e-t-e-r material left um you know what <laughs> not left but material one material left is so childish uh, okay so now that is done right uh, so now we have to replicate the exact same thing on the other side. How about, <coughs> excuse me, we temporarily uh, hide, uh, let's select this, select this, and uh, hide everything. Okay, hide what? We do not need the side for the moment. Um, so let's just select all and hide. Fine, okay. Uh, so now um, the same thing on the other side. Um, set that plane, paste the point. Okay, we have pasted the point and... Uh, okay so this is the point right uh, let's give it um, 200 mm, okay so once that is selected let's go to front and uh, co and one and uh, 200 so now uh, let's select that and uh, left and co <laughs> excuse me um, okay so now both of them are pasted and now click, uh, click on that co and uh, click on that perfect okay so now four points are pasted and as before model lines and uh, turn on 3d snapping so one and uh, two 
and uh, one and uh, two and one and two and one and two and uh, one and uh, two one and uh, one and uh, two and one and two and one and two perfect so now let's click on that change it into a reference line let's click on that change it into a reference line and uh, click on that click on that uh, create form and uh, but in this case you know uh, we want our bricks to be alternate right so this one is going to be uh, what is this going to be this is going to be b1 and uh, this one right here is going to be b2 and uh, this one right here is going to be a1 and uh, this one right here is going to be um, a2 and now guys check this out so look at how beautiful our um, design is we are gonna uh, you know the material let's just keep it the same all right so now let's go to this for example this can be 100 apply check this out we have already made that and uh, for the material how about b r o w n uh, anything brown anything light something light brown right that's how usually bricks are or you know they can even be some other material it's not important for them to be bricks so now uh, this is family 4 right you know let's quickly save this in our desktop in order to avoid any uh, problems I want my copies to be 1 and uh, not family 44 but uh, family 10 uh, because there are even other families loaded in the project so it usually creates a confusion all right so from this point on it's nothing special it does uh, the, exactly the way we did before all right so messing on site and uh, let's go to the top and uh, let's just simply place a model line or any other sort of line and uh, let's just uh, place this and uh, modify and click on the line create form and uh, let's um, tap 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 come on okay so tap on that and uh, divide surface and let's go to fixed distance and we know that every unit was 400 right uh, the way we decided it and uh, 400 and uh, apply and uh, now click on that and uh, the name of that was family 10 <laughs> and uh, check this out guys look at how beautiful our design is uh, and it's complete uh, so and if you go to edit type you know it is completely parametric so how about uh, 150 apply and uh, check this out it even got applied I think 150 is a bit excessive but 125 uh, seems nice so <laughs> excuse me uh, if you go to um, realistic and this is it look at how beautiful this is and uh, we finish up the mass okay uh, all right so check this out this is our composite uh, brick design inside Revit and it's completely parametric so once you reach this point you can even play this instead uh, I mean instead of a straight line it can be a rectangle it can be a circle or anything else right um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you learned something from it and uh, do share and subscribe right have a good day and uh, bye bye